to another video. If you're new to the videos, my name's Emma. I run a small illustration business from home called Embers and Ink. And this channel is all about my business life, my home life and everything in between. Right. So as you've seen, I've got some door hangers. Does anyone remember these from when they were a kid? And they'd be like, keep out, Emma's room, or whatever. My sister came up with a good idea. So if you've been watching the last few videos, you'll see that I've been doing some signs. Initiated by the Sheffield Cat Shelter, who asked me to do a game for their 125th birthday, all linked around my old book. There's a video all about that. I'll try and pop a link here somewhere if the link isn't here, because if you're watching this on a mobile phone or a tablet, you probably don't see these links that pop up that we talk about sometimes. Um, I'll pop those links in the description down below, so you'll always be able to get it. But I'll pop a link to that video of me making that game if you're interested. It's very interesting, I think. It's one of my favourite videos that I've done. So because of that project, I made my own signs for my market stalls. I've also got a video about that, so I'll pop that in the description too. Also a good video. And since then, the cat shelter have asked me because I really like doing signs now. It's like one of my favorite things. I'm gonna look for sign writing courses. Um, they've asked me to do an open closed sign simultaneously to them emailing me and completely unconnected. My sister saw some things like this on um, eBay and she was like, why don't you do some room signs? And she's like, oh. <laughs> and she's like this can be the tail of the cat. So, kind of like that. So that's what I'm gonna do. They, they've they been laser cooked. They smell really nice. They smell like designer technology class at school or CDT. Mm. Um, so they've been laser cut. They're a bit obviously burnt around the edge where they've been cut, but I'm gonna prime these and get these ready to make signs of. My sister was saying I could do personalised signs, so like Charlotte's room or Ethan's room or, you know, whatever. I don't know if there's enough space on there because the pens that I've got are quite big and I'd have to buy more stuff. So I was thinking about maybe doing some generic ones, like keep out or whatever. I don't know. I don't know. Or like welcome keep out and the keep out one can be a cat's bum i don't know i've got five of them just to kind of have an experiment and see see what's what so yeah that's that's where i'm at with that one also i need to do the open close sign for the cat shelter but i can't do that because andy is away doing some electrical work for his parents and he's taken all of his tools. So I won't have access to those tools until next week. So that might even be another video. I think it probably will, but I am looking forward to that. That should be pretty cool. And that's gonna be paid work as well. So the, the game that I did for the cat shelter, the big project, that was a freebie that I did as, as kind of a donation because it's, um, they're a charity and it was for their birthday. But this is something they've commissioned me to do off the back of that, which is nice. I wasn't expecting it. So there you go. It sometimes pays to do free work and philanthropic work, even in ways that you didn't intend it to. Sorry, there's somebody shouting on the street, if you can hear that. It's kids. <laughs> Honestly, they sound like they've been murdered. Right. Right, <laughs> I'm gonna go and get my paint.
morning. It is not morning, it's afternoon. It's also Thursday and I've been slowly just adding more layers onto those. I didn't film it because it's a pretty dull process. They probably need another coat, which I will film today for your viewing pleasure, just so you don't feel like you've missed out on anything. Today's the day that I'm finally sitting down to draft some of these door hangers. Um, I've put the second coat on today and I've just pencil outlined the design I want to have. Is that picking it up? I don't know if it's too bright there. Um, all the pencil outlines that I would normally go over in um, the gesso gesso, gesso, uh, I haven't, I've gone over in white Posca pen so I'm just waiting for that to dry. This is a little trial run, this one, we'll see. On the other side I will do another design, um, I'm thinking come in, go away, it's the kind of thing I would have liked on my door when I was a kid, in fact if it goes well I might keep one. Um, so I'm just waiting for that Posca to dry. Today I'm wearing Dave, can you see him? So this is the t-shirt I made to go alongside his book. It is a whole year today since Dave died. And I am, I, I, honestly, I really am so shocked that it's been a whole year because my heart is still breaking over him. For those who don't know, Dave is my, was my, is my, is my best bud mate, friend, cat, who I wrote a children's book all about, our Dave. Uh, he came to us uh, in 2014 from the Cat Shelter, the Sheffield Cat Shelter, who I've got a long-term kind of relationship with now. And he lightened my life, my boy. Uh, and now I have a new, new best friend, another best friend, an additional best friend, Rowley, who is, I don't know where he is, snoozing somewhere. We got Rowley a couple of months after David died because the the silence in the house and the not having a cat in the house wasn't making us, wasn't healing us anymore. Do you know what I mean? We had all this love to give. And just because you love another cat doesn't mean that you didn't love the cat that you had before. Um, so anyway, it's a year. So I'm pretty sad today. So it's nice to be working on a little cat. And I'm going to make this Dave's bum. I'm pretty sure I got some photographs to see what it looked like. <laughs> right, I think that's dry enough, let's get on with it.
side one. I think it's really cute. Um, I probably should have done the outline in a thinner pen, but first go. I might just touch up this little bit of black as well to make that line thinner. Touch it up with the yellow once it's dry. And then I'll work on the other side. So I've just added, uh, I've made those thin lines slightly thicker. It's a bit messy, <laughs> um, but I think it looks better with, with the lines more closely um, together. What does that mean? No, with the lines looking similar, a similar size. When I do these to sell, I am going to do this to sell. I'm going to keep this one as a prototype. Unless anyone's desperate for it, pop a message in the comments for me. Um, I think what I'll do is when I'm drawing this cat or whatever design I put there, I'll draw it on some paper and I will trace it onto here just so I don't have all of the, um, the line marks around it. I'm going to trial that on the next side. So let's see. For a prototype, I think that's worked really well. So we've got go away on one side and come in on the other. This side where I've used the thin line, the thin black line to go around it looks much neater, much more, mwah. the writing needs to be a bit neater and I might need to invest in some smaller pens because this size pen, <laughs> where like tiny little dots like that, it's just not gonna work. That side is cute, but the big black line just spoiled it a little bit, I think. It looks a bit too blurry, not as crisp. But I still like it. I also like the little cat's whiskers on the writing. Don't know why I started doing that, I just did. Also, tracing, um, tracing the design really helped to keep it nice and clean and crisp because you can, on this side, you can still see some pencil marks through, which this is mine. I'm not gonna sell this unless you're desperate for it, in which case, message me in the comments. Um, but this is gonna be mine. I've edged it with blue as well, which I think is really nice. Could be edged with pink or whatnot. I'm gonna spray this as well with the varnish. Ooh. The varnish that I got for the Feed Our Dave game. So it's like a, just a UV varnish protector and just makes it a bit more finished. All being well, if I can if I can iron out all of the problems with some of it looking a bit blurry and maybe 
the size of the pen. I'm going to be selling these at some of my Christmas markets. Maybe even online. Give me, give me a bit of feedback. What do you think should be on there? Go away or keep out? I thought keep out in a bum was a little bit... I don't think it worked. But come in and go away. I think that works. Anyway, I'm going to put this on my door handle now. And this is where I'm going to leave this week's video. If you enjoyed it, please do like and subscribe. It really helps me to beat the YouTube algorithm and helps me to reach new audiences just like you. But until next time, bye bye.